All right, let's talk a little bit about the weather. We did have a severe warning weather day, yeah. um, but not as terribly bad as we were expecting. But yeah. Right, yeah, I mean, we had some strong storms moving on through, some gusty winds, but yeah, not didn't have any severe thunderstorms, thankfully. We still have a couple showers out there right now. There's that radar. You can see some of that heavy rain continues to fall across the uh, eastern parts of Marion County. Flagler County is dried out, but these showers are moving through Salt Springs, heading back up towards Shell Bluff. So in about another 15 minutes, you're going to be getting so with some more rain further down to south Weirsdale, the village is beginning to dry on out as these lighter showers move their way across uh, Sumter County back into Lake County further down to south over towards Disney World watching this batch of heavier rain now beginning to pick up the pace and moving up towards Apopka and onto the east shore there of Lake Apopka. You see right now winds are still generally out from the south and the southwest still pretty breezy too. 13 mile per hour winds in Orlando 13 in Leesburg 9 mile per hour breeze there in Bifflo 9 in St. Cloud and 12 in Kissimmee. These winds are going to pick up the pace as we head over Overnight tonight and by tomorrow afternoon, we might be close to wind advisory criteria. So that's something we'll have to keep an eye on for tomorrow. Temperatures right now starting to drop out towards the west as cooler, drier air moves in. 64 in Ocala, 68 right now in Wildwood, still holding in the low 70s in the villages, 73 in Leesburg, quite warm still in Ocala, 76 degrees. That's above our average high for this time of year. 76 right now in Bifflo and Sanford, and right now along the coastline in the mid 70s. But again, as we head overnight tonight, those temperatures will fall on off. We'll stay breezy, few showers lingering, and again those winds picking up the pace. So here's midnight still watching a few spotty showers. Cloud cover still quite thick by five o'clock in the morning. Cloud cover begins to clear up for a little bit as another line of some showers moves through by eight o'clock in the morning. Watching for a few spotty showers, especially up towards the north. Here's the noon hour about a 10% coverage of rain, so can't rule out a sprinkle, but it will be rather isolated out there. As we continue through the afternoon, we'll start to clear up our skies and by four o'clock looking mostly sunny to partly sunny and again quite windy out there as we go throughout the day. So tomorrow morning, Waking up in the low 60s in Orlando and Bifflo, so we will drop those temperatures quite a bit as we head through the overnight hours. 52 in Ocala, 53 expected for that low in the villages. Should make it down to about 57 in Leesburg, 58 in Claremont, and Daytona Beach should make it down to about 59. So detractions forecast, isolated showers in the morning, cloudy, still cool at noon, only up to about 69 degrees. And then by 5 o'clock, sky's clearing on up temperature back to about 70 degrees. So take a look. Uh, it's quite the chill down today. 84 degrees tomorrow, only warming up to about 72 for the daytime high in Orlando. So quite the drop out there. 67 degrees for that daytime high in Ocala should only make up to about 68 in the villages Leesburg and Claremont, making it to the low 70s in Bifflo and St. Cloud in Melbourne should make it up to a daytime high of about 73. Quite windy out there. Take a look at the wind gust. This is the noon hour wind gust over 30 miles per hour at times, getting close to 40 mile per hour gusts as we head towards three o'clock in the afternoon. And then those winds begin to lighten up as we head into tomorrow evening. So again, windy day tomorrow, Monday, looking pretty good out there. Plenty of sunshine, high temperatures only getting up to about 70 degrees. And then by Tuesday, get back to a daytime high of 77, right back into the 80s by Wednesday.